One, two. Well, here I am again. Hello, welcome to this week's video. <coughs> Apologies for the croaky throat. All being well, uh, as this is coming live on YouTube on Saturday evening, I should be in Ireland at the Irish Guild, Irish Woodturners Guild seminar. I won't be able to take this piece of wood with me. My weight allowance in black baggage won't allow it. Um, eventually I get something looking all right on the other side, but uh, you'll have to stick to the end to see that. Or fast forward. Another setup, different route a bit this time. No bushing to limit the depth. Instead, I've put a fence down on the board here, which hopefully you can see on the overhead. So I'm using a, an engraving bit. It's going to be stopped and turned between, between these blocks. And I'm going to do two passes again, 48 holes and see how I get on. I've only got time really to do one or two so uh, that's probably the best view. Maybe this one so that you can see see both from above and sort of from the side. And uh, let's do one cut and then I've got to go and have a cup of tea. And that's why you have to make sure that this is tight. Hmm, maybe I'll have to go for the sort of loose organic look.
broken dreams, shattered lives, the anti-fluting jig, fluting jigged platter rim. I'd be interested to see the comments on this one. I think I'll leave it for you lot to say what <laughs> needs to be said. Thanks. Guess what I've just done. Forgot. Well, this certainly is different, isn't it? Who could have seen or told from this that this was made with a fluting jig designed to create accurate, repeatable distances between cuts? Well, accurate, repeatable distances if the uh, user error of not tightening up the locking arm of the indexing plate is avoided. You'll have seen in the footage that I did some outlandish colouring work on it that was probably beyond my artistic talents and it looked awful. Um, the simpler colour scheme that I've got here is the finished one with the black and then the gold, I think pleases me much more. I've just been recently to a dental ward at the hospital and uh, there are some rather disturbing shapes here that look a bit similar to the tooth x-rays I had. Hmm. Uh, but I'm regretting not having been a little more careful with putting the gold on and my usual slapdash approach has left it in places mm, well actually it would have been a bit more powerful had it been done a little more neatly. I'm really quite pleased with the end result. There were plenty of times during the turning of this I thought, well the decoration of it, I thought you really have lost it now. You post that people are going to slate you at long last and see through you. You fraud. The beading works really nicely I think, especially here around the opening and there was a slight undercut. It could be a little more pronounced I guess that makes an interesting uh, textural detail and shadow line in there. There's a bit of gold paint on that bead. You can probably see that. That would be easy to remove or just go over with a bit of stain <clears throat> if I were keeping this one. Ideally I wouldn't want the rim as flat as that but it's just playtime. It's learning a new tool. It's having fun and uh, while this has been sitting on the table indoors it's grown and grown and grown on me. And I've given it the rather pompous title of 